Hi guys, welcome back. Today I am in the car with Amy. Hi. We're on our way to Dollar Tree to see what we can find and we thought we would bring you all along with us. I need to get some cards. I have a few occasions coming up, I, a few birthdays. Um, my neighbor's not well, I was gonna give her a card. And I absolutely love to get my cards from the Dollar Tree because they have Hallmark cards, two for a dollar. And anyone that's bought greeting cards lately knows that that is a very, very good deal. So that's what I'm off to get is cards. But while I'm there, of course, we will see what we can find. And I'll show you when we get home, show you my grocery, my Dollar Tree haul, not grocery haul. It might just be a few Hallmark cards, but hopefully, hopefully we'll find some other things as well. And maybe Amy will cook supper for us tonight. Mm, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm planning on it. That'll be good. Yep. So, we will see you soon. Hi guys, we're back. We had a nice time at the Dollar Tree. We got a few things. I was able to get a card that I was needing and a few other cards and some of the other like medical supplies and things like that that I was wanting to see. And I'll show you that here in a little bit, but first we need to get our roast in the oven. This is a pork loin roast. I had one of the great big long pork loins from Sam's and I cut it into various meals. I have a video of that that I made a while back. This is the pork roast that I cut from the, from the great big pork loin. So Amy is gonna learn how to bake a roast and vegetables for our dinner tonight. All right, here's Chef Amy. Hey. Hey, Amy. Okay, so the first thing I do is I sprinkle salt and pepper Okay, so you wanna sit down here where you can kind of be, I can hold you in the camera better because the sun's coming through the window okay. over there. So, salt. yeah, just sprinkle salt. All right, that's good. Okay. Now pepper. <clears throat> That's good. And now, rosemary. We use crushed rosemary on pork roast. It just really brings out the flavor. It goes so well with pork. And you don't need as much rosemary as you did salt. So just a light sprinkle of rosemary. Okay. I'll try not to get too carried away here. Uh, like a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah. More like. All right, there you go. And thyme, even less thyme, okay. T-H-Y-M-E. Oh. Just a light sprinkle up and down the length of the roast because you want every bit of roast to have that flavor on it. It doesn't look like any's coming out. There we go, give it good shakes, there you go, all right. All right, now I'm gonna have you do something really weird. You need to go get a fork out of the drawer uh -huh. and we're going to poke it okay and that will allow the the flavors to um soak down into the meat as it cooks and we left the fat on because as it cooks the fat is going to keep the meat moist and flavorful okay you're just going to stab that fork down 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 just stab all up and down the length of that roast and you're going to be pushing that you're going to need to do it pretty hard okay yeah you're going to be um making holes in the meat oops for the, yeah, for the flavors to go in. Good job. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Just randomly poke a few more up this way. All right. Good job, Amy. Uh, okay. That's you. good. Yeah. Now I'm going to have you just put the onion slices all along the top. We went ahead and sliced our onions up ahead of time. Just on top? Yep, just lay them along up top, on top of the, just grab you a handful and kind of sprinkle them. Maybe. Onion is a wonderful way to season meat so and vegetables, yeah. My, my onion. We're gonna let that cook for a while and then we'll be putting fresh potatoes and carrots around it. Okay. Onion, onion. And that's probably plenty of onion. Okay. 
All right, so now what we're gonna pretty. do is we're gonna cover this with foil. Okay. And we're gonna put it in our oven, which we've preheated at 350. Okay. And um, we'll be back in a little while. Okay, I just have a real quick haul for you. I didn't have room on my table to spread it all out. My table's busy with other things right now. Um, something I saw on Alaska Granny's channel is she recommended getting tools from the Dollar Tree. And I realized that for a dollar, you probably get what you pay for, and this probably won't last forever, but in an emergency, if you needed a hacksaw, you have a hacksaw. I will put this, I have my own toolbox that I keep my tools in. I will be glad to have this if I need it. Also, I got some screwdrivers because I never have just the right screwdriver when I need it. So I got a set of screwdrivers, six piece set for a dollar. I got two Sharpies just because for a dollar, I thought <clears throat> it's kind of like matches and lighters. When you see a Sharpie, you, you buy it if it's a dollar. Just, they're always great to have. I got this for Amy. She loves cats. Paw markers. They're like little book markers, only they're cats. She loves cats. So I thought she would have fun with that. I also got three cards. I got a birthday card and just two kind of cards thinking of you. I was in a hurry today, so I just grabbed those few cards. I also grabbed... Sorry, I'm in the way here. I'm doing a terrible job filming. I got two pairs of work gloves. I'm going to stick these in my toolbox just because sometimes it's nice to have a pair of work gloves to protect your hands. So, and I don't have any gloves at all as far as like working around in the yard or whatever. So I have two pairs of gloves. Then we got, I got several things for our medical preparations, prepping. I got uh, two things of witch hazel. I got Q-tips, 200 Q-tips. I got on-the-go packages of Lysol disinfecting wipes. This is always great to have with you, no matter where you're going, what you're doing. Keep them in your purse or your car or whatever, so you can be sure that the things you're touching are clean. So. I got those. I got this just to see if I got the right thing. I'm gonna let Brent tell me if this is, if he thinks this is a good deal, I'll go get more. Absorbing Junior Plus Ultra Strength Pain Relief Patch for shoulders, arms, neck, and legs. I thought that might be worth a try. So lasts up to eight hours. So we'll see. There's one large medicated patch for a dollar. I got a large bottle of hydrogen peroxide. And this is something I saw on one of the videos you all post. I can't remember whose video, but the Himalayan uh, pink salt. I don't know how to say that word. Himalayan pink salt. When I use the Trim Healthy Mama diet plan, they recommend this salt. It's healthy. and But it is sometimes hard to find, and it is can be quite expensive. I got one pound for a dollar. So I was, I'm impressed with that. I'm anxious to try it and I'll let you all know what I think. I also got a one pound bag of Epsom salts just to have in our medical prepping. Um, it can be used for so many things. So I got this Epsom salts and I got two of the dish pans. Those are just handy for everything. Like right now I've got all my small stuff in it. Um, I did get two large Puzzle books, word find, and crosswords. I will keep those put up for our prepping pantry because, you know, in a stressful situation, if you're if the electricity goes out, you can't watch TV, you can't be on your phones, whatever, you've got a puzzle book to do. Something to kind of keep you occupied, keep your nerves settled. It's just a helpful thing to have. Okay, I got liquid skin. I just have been keeping... Um, Oh, super glue in my medical prepping because that's you can use that to close a wound of course not a huge deep gushing wound you, you couldn't do that you would need stitches for that but there are certain things certain wounds that could be closed with super glue but then I saw liquid skin and I wonder if it's the same thing it sounds like the same kind of wound closure as super glue I'll ask Brent and see what he thinks about that 
And I got one, two, three, four more packages of the single use super glue. So there's four for a dollar. And I got four packages of those. I also picked up two packages of cigarette lighters just because I don't smoke. None of us smoke in this house, but um, it's always good to have a way to start a fire. So I got those. I also got some ear protection for when I mow. There's times when I just feel like I need, I need some protection. All right, and then I picked up two of the sewing kits that I picked up last time. And so there's one, there's two. And then I picked up two of the little first aid kits. And yes, I will add things to that because it's, it's not nearly full. So I, I can get more stuff in there. So that's what I got at Dollar Tree today. Pretty good haul. Got them all peeled and chunking them up, don't you? Mm -hmm. We'll put them in our roast here in a minute. Yum, yum. I hope it's tasty. Huh. I bet it will be. It will be really good. It smells good already. Oh my goodness. Here's Miss Amy hey, with our finished product. So let's see how it all turned out, Amy. All right, here we go. Ooh, I wish my camera had smell-o-vision. Smells amazing. Okay, mm -hmm. Amy, so tell people who are beginning cooks or people who might think that fixing a roast and vegetables is too hard or too much trouble. How hard was this? Super easy. Super easy. And you're not a professional cook. You, you're you a beginning cook. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Yep. Just, you know, how to peel and cut. If you can do all those things, you can surely do that. And it didn't take us long at all, did it? Not nope. at all. Thanks for cooking supper for me, Amy. Oh, you're welcome. And thanks for being on my video again. Oh, yeah. Any, anytime. All right. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Okay. We are doing a taste test. Very informal. We're eating our dinner in the living room tonight. So Amy's going to taste her roast and veggies and let us know how well they turned out. Mm -hmm. Are they good? Mm -hmm. What an easy meal. Very healthy. And look at that. Mm -hmm. What does dad think? Oh, thumbs up. All right. That's very good. And thanks for your help too. Yeah. Anytime. It's nice to talk with food in your mouth. You know, it's not nice to talk with food in your mouth. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.